Hey everybody, Daytona Rolex 24 Block here. I'm here with the one, the only, the voice of the Indy 500, the voice of NBC Sports for IMSA and Sports Car Racing, Lee Dippy. Lee, thanks for the time. I yeah, you it. bet. Good to see you here. Likewise. Um, first things first, year of D a year of TTP racing. Yep. Got, looks like you got most of the um, reliability kinks out. What do you expect this year to well, I think that's you hit on a good point, reliability. I was just talking to Mike O'Gara from Cadillac Racing, Chip Ganassi, and he was just saying mechanically, you know, ostensibly the cars are still the same, but where they've made the biggest gains is in the software development and the, the usability, the driver friendliness. And, you know, all of last year for every team, we're standing here in between, you know, Wayne, uh, WTR, Wayne Taylor Racing with Andretti. They're obviously Acura powered and Acura aligned. But whether it's Acura, whether it's the Cadillac program, whether it's Porsche or the BMW, it's been a full year of learning. So what I think we will see is the teams going into this race with less unknowns and a lot more confidence with reliability, a lot less unknowns, so to speak. Gotcha. Now, I was paying attention to the weather report this week. Two things that could play in that we haven't seen recently. Yeah, you and me are in t-shirts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. We got 70s and 80s. Haven't had a Rolex like that for quite a while. And also, we're at a chance for the finish on Sunday. With those two, depends on how how big is that going to play into what we see at the finish on Sunday afternoon? Obviously when we talk temperature we always think tyres immediately, right? And how the cars perform it with that ambient, that higher ambient temperatures. I think it's just going to be a lot more comfortable for everybody. Um, but we'll see come race time. Will, will it have a, a, a negative impact? I don't know. I think, you know, I think it's just... I don't think about the performance angle, I think about the comfort level for everybody operating, you know, because this race can sometimes feel like 48 hours when it's really bitterly cold or the rain or stoppages like we've seen over the years. So I actually am quite buoyed by that and pleased for everybody, all the teams and crews, that it's going to be somewhat comfortable. Last, last question, I know you got a lot to, I know you got a lot of things to see and catch up with. You're a busy man this year, you got Paris, of course, as I say, the voice of the 500. I just want to know how a young man like yourself manages to do it all. Uh, a lot of this, <laughs> a lot of homework, a lot of reading. Uh, my wife and I have two sons, and I tell them, you know, they're always asking why am I in the office, and I say I'm always reading or I'm on the computer, I'm doing something, so you've always got to stay abreast of it. Make good contacts, keep your relationships, you know, talk to a lot of people. And, uh, but we have a lot of good support as well at NBC Sports in our research department and the folks that actually help us. People behind the scenes that you never get to see. We're, we're well supported, but at the end of the day, you've got to put in a lot of work too. Lee, I'm a very big fan of yours. Best of luck on the broadcast this weekend. Thank you, Thank you so much for the time. Have a great weekend, everyone. Enjoy it.